This is Johnny. Johnny has his major psychology exam tomorrow, but he has left it to the last day to study. Johnny spends all day and night studying for his exam. But despite being fatigued, Johnny performs reasonably well on his exam. But in a year's time when he starts work, Johnny struggles to remember the key skills from his degree, which frustrates his employers. So how can you avoid Johnny's situation and come out on top? There is a simple method of practice that you can utilize to help ensure you do well at your exams and remember the content well into the future. This method is called distributed practice. Johnny was using a form of massed practice, which involves practicing non-stop with no rest. This kind of practice may feel effective, but is in fact often very ineffective. A better method of learning is distributed practice, which involves separating practice sessions with rest periods. One study found that, compared to massed practice, distributed practice led to faster learning and superior long-term retention of performance on a pursuit rotor task. This effect was found to be more effective the more distributed the practice. So, how does distributed practice work? Well, the breaks between practice sessions allow the brain to consolidate the new skill or information it has just learned. It also allows for more cognitive preparation and mental rehearsal between sessions and forces us to recall information from memory which is shown to promote better learning. One study into a new postcode system found that when postmen had distributed practice, they learned faster and they remembered the postcodes for longer in comparison to those who had mass practice. However, they also discovered that the distributed group were the least satisfied with their training because it was longer. So what this means, little Johnny, if you want that seven in your big exam, you need to be prepared for a little pain, but it will be worth it in the end. Don't believe me yet? Research shows even surgeons benefit from distributed practice. Surgeons were trained either in a one-day session or four shorter sessions distributed over several weeks. They both performed equally well on an initial test, but it was the distributed group that performed better one month after training. So while little Johnny may have done well in his exam after one night of binge study, his study method wasn't effective in the long term. So how can you take advantage of distributed practice? Let's take Susan and Billy. They both need 12 hours to study for their exam. Susan has six weeks until her exam, but works full time. She can distribute her time by studying for half an hour every second day of the week. Billy has his exam in three days time and hasn't studied a thing. For Billy to be prepared, he needs to study for four hours per day, but can divide this up, such as studying one hour at breakfast, before lunch, in the afternoon, and after dinner. This way, both Billy and Susan can take advantage of distributed practice, allowing them to consolidate new information to ensure exam success and so that they don't forget it after the exam. In short, distributed practice is the gold standard for learning a variety of skills, as it promotes faster, better learning, allows for effective consolidation of information, and promotes long-term skill retention. Implementing this strategy into your learning is a surefire way to succeed. So for your sake, give your brain a break. <laughs>